So I'm pretty sure it's uh, October 14th, Saturday. We're making the left turn out of our garage and onto Broadway. And we see a police officer directly ahead of us there. And he pulls across in the light and continuing down uh, Broadway as we make the right turn onto Anaheim. Anyway, situation normal, rarely seeing any police uh, wherever we went. And then coming back home, we're coming along Broadway, and that building ahead of us there, that's our building. The garage entrance is on that side of the building. But uh, we decided to actually wash our vehicle, so we weren't going directly into the garage. And we noticed this ambulance uh, making a left there on uh, Lemon Street. So, you know, whatever. And then as we pull a little further up ahead at the Beth Bethel Baptist Church, there is a couple of uh, police officers there. Uh, presumably you would think that's for a funeral procession of some sort, but I'm not too sure. It wasn't uh, very clear. Anyway, I thought that was interesting, especially since the at the previous uh, city council meeting in Anaheim, there was a uh, honoring the Hilgendell, Hil Hilgenfield uh, Mortuary 50th anniversary. So anyway, my wife is uh, doing the car wash and I decide to walk down uh, Broadway with uh, Benjamin and just take a, a more clearer view of these police officers. See, they might have been, uh, someone might have thought I was gonna, we were gonna make a direct uh, left onto the, into the garage but we actually continued down the street and to the car wash. Anyway, uh, returning home, you can see the parking entrance we're about to go into, and you can see to your left there uh, the uh, patrol officers uh, as we enter the parking structure. So, uh, okay, so we fast forward to uh, Monday. October 15, 2012, uh, at the corner again of Lemon Street and Broadway at the Flame Broiler, having lunch. Uh, you recall uh, a couple of videos ago uh, where there was a strange incident uh, where an Anaheim police vehicle kind of pulled up near those same tables there and then took off. Well, this time a police vehicle pulls up and uh, he goes inside, he orders or what have you. I don't know if he eats inside or he takes his food with him. Uh, but there was no incident and he said hello and all that kind of stuff. So it was a sort of a win-win. Uh, no harassing of me and he was able to go and have his, his lunch in peace. And I, even, and I even sent a series of tweets out regarding that event. Uh, and that was approximately, I think it was like one, one, 10 to 1.30, something like that, 1.30 p.m. Um, in front of the flame, flame broiler. But anyway, it was uh, a kosher event. Uh, I was actually happy. But then uh, some odd things started happening near the corner of uh, Lemon and Center. And at first at the corner I had noticed a Toyota Camry, but it wasn't a green Toyota Camry. Uh, it was sort of, sort of different color. I didn't think much of it, but then uh, then a green Toyota Camry starts uh, appearing in its place. And you know uh, my issue with green Toyota Camrys and confidential informants and my past with that vehicle, having almost lost my life in it, etc., etc. So anyway, so all of a sudden this green Toyota Camry starts showing up at the corner of Lemon and Center Street. And then culminating uh, yesterday with the following event. So I pass along and I see the same to uh, green Toyota Camry on the corner of Lemon and Center. And then I cross the street. And sure enough, as I'm uh, crossing the street, uh, you can see another green Toyota Camry. Ain't that a wonderful coincidence? So, a couple of encounters at the Flame Broiler on Lemon and uh, Broadway. And one of them that I thought was a positive encounter. And all of a sudden we get these uh, Toyota Camry pop
pop-ups at the corner, including the green Toyota Camry, and then the double, the double green uh, Toyota Camry trip, similar, similar to the uh, stunt that occurred at the uh, Extended Stay America. And so you can see the uh, double Camry trick in my uh, Leaving Hell House video. So, uh, I'm kind of sensitive to the whole issue of funeral, funeral scenarios because of this stunt that was pulled uh, the day or so after my dad had passed away in 2010 and then on the first anniversary of his passing with uh, various uh, funeral car stunts as well. So I'm a little, uh, a little sore on that topic. 